Hi guys, welcome back to my channel in today's video and I'm gonna be telling you the life and the works of Saint Marianne Cope in my brand new video <clears throat> in my brand new video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos and new updates. See you soon. Bye bye. Before we can start it, I just wanted to say that you can check out my last year's videos of Saint Pedro of Saint Pedro Colonsot and Saint Kateri Teka Vita, which is in the description box and description link below. Description boxes and description links below. Let's go. Through leprosy scared off most people in 19th century Hawaii. The disease sparked great generosity in the woman who came to be known as Mother Marianne of Molokai. Her courage helped tremendous, tremendously tremendously to improve the lives of its victims in Hawaii, a territory annexed to the United States during her lifetime during her lifetime 1898. Mother Marianne's generosity and courage were celebrated at her May 14, 2005 beatification in Rome. She was a woman who spoke the language of truth and love to the world, said Cardinal Jose Suriva Martins prefect of the congregation for saints causes. Cardinal Martins, who, preside, who presided at the beatification mass in St. Peter's Basilica, called her, life a, called, a life, called her life a wonderful work of divine grace, speaking of her special love for persons suffering from leprosy. He said, she saw in them the suffering face of Jesus like the Good Samaritan, she became their mother. On January 23rd, 18, on January 23rd, which is now her feast day, which is now her feast day, 1838, a daughter was born on January 23rd, 18, 1838. A daughter was born to Peter and Barbara Kopp of hessen Donstrat, Germany. The girl was named the girl was named after her mother. Two years later the Cope family emigrated the Cope family emigrated to the emi, emigrated to the United States and settled in Utica, New York. Young Barbara worked in a factory with until in a factory sorry. Young Barbara worked in a factory until August 1862 when she went to the Sisters of the Third Order of St. Francis in New York. After profession in November of the, of the next year, she began teaching at Assumption Parish School. Marianne held the post of superior in several places and was twice the novice mistress of her con of, the, of her con I mean of her con of her congregation congregation okay. In actual three different times, in actual three different times, she was superior of Saint Joseph's Hospital in Syracuse, where she learned, where she learned much that would be useful during her years in Hawaii. Elected provincial in 1877, Mother Marianne was unanimously re-elected in 1881. Two years later, the Hawaiian, two years later, the Hawaiian government was searching for someone to run the Kakako receiving station for people suspected of having leprosy. More than 50 religious communities in the United States and Canada were asked. When the request was put to the Syracuse sisters, 35 of them volunteered immediately. On October 22, 1883, on October 20, on October 22, 1883, Mother Marianne and six other sisters left for Hawaii, where they took charge of the Kakako receiving station outside Honolulu. On the island of Maui, they also opened a hospital and a school for girls. In 1888, Mother Marianne and two sisters went to Molokai to open a home for unprotected mother, I mean, for unprotected women and girls there. The Hawaiian government was quite hesitant to send women for to send wom, to send women 
for this different assignment, they need not have worried about Mother Marian on Molokai. She took charge of the home that St. Damien de Velsta had established for men and boys. Mother Marian, Mother Marian changed life on Molokai by, by introducing cleanliness, pride, and fun to the colony. You can check out my list, I mean, you can check out my recent video of St. Damien of Molokai in the description box below and description link below at the end of this video. Bright scarves, bright scarves and pretty dresses and pretty dresses for the women were part of her approach. Awarded the Royal Order of Kapiolani by the, Hava by the Hawaiian government and celebrated in a poem by Robert Louis Stevenson. Mother Marianne continued her work Mother Marian continued her work faithfully. Her sisters have attracted attracted vocations among the Hawaiian people and still work on Molokai. Mother Marian died on August 9, 1918. Was Viat I mean Mother Marian died on August 9, 1918 at 80 years old. She and was beatified was beatified on May 14, 2005 by Pope Benedict the Sixteenth and and canonized seven years later, October twenty first, two thousand twelve. She is the patron saint of lepers lepers. She is the patron saint of le, of lepers. What's that? Outcast. Those with HIV AIDS, the Hawaii. I hope you everyone I'll be see you in my brand new video. As you can see, I brought this pink sweater from last year. You know, that's so cute. And see you soon. Bye.